So when you look at a stroke, this is just the line made with the with the line tool. When you look at a stroke and you look up here to the control panel, you'll see that a stroke can have a uniform width, okay? Uniform meaning that the width is the same thickness on the whole entire stroke, or it can have a different width profile, meaning that it can have a different type of width. It can be thinner in areas and thicker in others. So if you go through the width profile over here, see some really interesting width profiles where the line, the stroke, is not evenly thick in all areas. So this can be on a line, it can be on a scribble, and this I did with the pencil tool. It could be on any scribble that you do, and it adds that really professional touch where the lines are thicker and thinner. So you can choose one of these width profiles that come with Illustrator, and here is a circle as well. You see, you can apply it in a circle. So now it's not just a circle, it's a circle with thinner and thicker strokes. So you can choose the ones that come with Illustrator, or you can make it on your own. So how do you make it on your own? So you start out with a plain simple stroke or you can even start out with a stroke that already has a width profile. So the way you do it is you go to the tool called the width tool. The shortcut is shift W. You can click on that. Now you can go to any stroke and it only works on strokes. Any stroke, whether it has a width profile or not, put your mouse over any area in the stroke. And when you put your mouse over there, you'll see you're adding this little circle, this anchor point, and there's a plus sign on the cursor. That means that you can click and pull and make it thicker or thinner, however you like. You can make it thinner by going closer to the path or thicker by pulling it out. And you can do it on a plain line like this that has a uniform stroke. See, I'm going to zoom in, and the reason, by the way, why it's round is because in the stroke panel, window stroke, I chose the round cap. See, usually it looks like this, and I just did the round cap. Now, with the width profile, you can go to that stroke. See, I'm just hovering over it, and this anchor box comes up. You can click and drag up to make it wider, or click and drag towards the path to make it narrower. You can take this anchor point that you added and move it anywhere if you want that thickness in different areas. You can also copy a certain thickness. So let's say I want this thickness over in a different area. I start moving it and then I press Alt and now I'm copying this thickness over to here. So I'm leaving it here and copying it over the, uh, here as well. So let's say I'm adding here another anchor point, but I only want to go up. I don't want to go down. So you can do that. So you click and then you press Alt and just drag up and it's only going to drag up and leave the bottom one intact. Or you could do the same thing and just go to the bottom, click um, Alter Option and drag down, and now I just added it on the bottom. So again, this works on strokes only, but it works on any stroke, and it works beautifully. Now, where would you use it typically? You could use it on shapes, on scribbles, on, on strokes, on frames, but if you go here to the next page right here, you can also use it to make your own customized letter. So I did it with the L, and so I want to add these curls on top and on the bottom. Just to save us some time, I already made the curls and I did it with the pencil tool. So see, just you can do a curl with a pencil tool like this and then you just add black as the stroke. There you go, here is that curl, but I already did it for you just to save us some time. So I'm gonna delete that. So now I'm gonna take this curl and put it over here for the top. See, like this. And now this one, I'm gonna go and put on the bottom like this okay so i'm going to zoom in now in order to use this it's going to be easier for me to get rid of the existing one right here the existing piece of the l so what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to select the l i'm going to choose the eraser tool so if you do shift e e for eraser you then get the eraser and with the right bracket you can make it bigger left bracket you can make it smaller and i'm just going to delete this part just because i want to use that new part and by the way the eraser even though it looks like it's erasing this as well it's not because the scribble was not selected so it's only going to erase the parts that were selected see and here on the bottom as well because i redid this curl right here i'm going to del delete the existing one so i'm going to go like this and i'm going to just delete the part that i'm going to replace 
Okay, now how do you get this to be the thickness of this? And how do you get this to be the thickness of this? It's fine, we're gonna cover this part, it doesn't look perfect. So now we go and you take the width tool. You could make the stroke a little thicker if you want, but you don't have to because you're going to do that with the width tool anyway. So with the width tool, I'm going to start right here and click and drag to make it thicker. See, maybe it's a little too thick. So I'm gonna press V, I just wanna move it up, move it into place like this. Okay, back to my width tool. And let's say over here, I want it to be thinner. So I'm gonna go here and make it thinner over here and maybe thicker over here. I don't even remember what I did with the older one, but here, so thick on the edge, a thin in right here. So even thicker on the edge, maybe this a little thicker like this, and see I'm gonna have to delete that little piece from the existing L. And now moving on to this piece, so selection tool, click on here, width tool, and click and drag to make it much wider over here, and then click to make it much thinner over here, and then I'm gonna go and make it thick on the edge again. And if you wanna just clean it up a little bit, delete those extra things again with the eraser tool, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna delete the parts and make the brush a little smaller. And I'm gonna delete the parts that I don't want, but this is basically how you customize letterings.